you know, it just seems nowadays that every day I wake up, there is some new sad shit that Call of Duty has done. And today, I got to talk about this $100 camo. You read that right. $100 camo in the game. So, you guys thought the last Call of Duty video was crazy about how, you know, they introduced a $80 Kong bundle pretty much for a melee weapon? This is $100 for a camo. So, I know what you guys might be thinking. This camo's got to be the best looking camo in Call of Duty history. It's got to be gorgeous. It's a hundred bucks. Is this thing mixed with like dark matter, dark ether, gold, platinum, like all thrown together type shit? Or is it something random? Is it something cool? Is it a classic camo? No. It is, well, I guess technically it is a classic camo, but it is not anything cool. It is a camo that was free in Call of Duty World War II. Leopard Print, I believe, is the name of it. Now, I'm not showing any visuals of it in-game because I don't have it. And, you know, I don't know if it's technically out in the game yet. I haven't seen anybody use it, so I, I don't, I don't want to risk anything. A lot of accounts have been getting banned and stuff like that for showing off uh, stuff that's not in the game. And the whole unlock tool ban wave happened. I don't have an unlock tool, but I don't know if they connect my channel through my youtube video I, and my account i just don't know i just don't know right either way there is a 100 dollars camo in call of duty now and uh, l let's just be honest with the situation if you own this camo you're probably a loser because to get this 100 dollars camo it's not something you buy outright through the game it is another thing where you have to jump through a bunch of hoops just like the kong melee weapon but with this one you actually have to spend a hundred dollars in like the call of duty official shop so that's buying like Call of Duty merch, t-shirts, sweatpants, shorts, that kind of shit. And I'll just keep it real, man. If you're like over the age of 18 and you're running around and like fully kitted out Call of Duty gear from head to toe, like you need to be put on a list that you do not want to be on because we need to have some special, you know, monitoring done on your household because something about you is not right, bro. A hundred plus dollars in Call of Duty, like official merchandise sales bro i can understand you know if you might walk around with, like a call of duty hoodie or like a t-shirt you know maybe you know maybe who, who cares maybe you got some sweatpants to go along with it but if you actually have the full gear head to toe and it's like a hundred dollars worth that is a problem man and if you do it solely for the camo, that's an even worse problem i guess if you just do the 100 dollars because there's a bunch of merch you want to buy like all right you know you're a little weird it's a little odd, but, you know, whatever, okay? Get what you want, right? But if you did it solely to get the camo, that is just, something's got to be wrong with you. I guess to, like, big YouTubers who have, you know, a couple million subscribers and they have a couple million dollars coming in from all their ad revenue and their partnerships and shit, I guess what is $100, right? You know? But to all the people that criticize the game for being so microtransaction heavy and they buy the actual $100 camo... That's just hypocritical, and that's just a problem, man. I, I just don't understand. I remember years ago, years ago, there was a scandal similar to this where there was like a $100 camo in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare or something like that, you know? But that was just because people were selling it on eBay for over $100 because it was like a rare camo, right? But this is Call of Duty themselves actually price tagging a camo for $100. And to make it worse, it is a camo that we already got for free in Call of Duty World War II. So, you know, it's just... I guess I should say I am surprised, but to be honest, I'm really not, you know. There's been so much stuff, especially this year has felt, like, crazier than all the other years, right? Like, this year has just felt insane because there was, like, a $40 or $50 bundle or something like that earlier this year, and I believe I made a video about that as well because I was like, dude, this is, like, two-thirds the price of the actual game. This is fucking ridiculous. And then we had the $80 Kong fiasco, and then not even, like, a day later... We had this happen. This actually happened yesterday, but, you know, I already had a video prepped for yesterday. I had a new challenge video, and I just wanted to upload that and uh, get that out there. But, you know, this news all broke yesterday or even the day before. It's just wild to me, and I don't really see many people making videos on this. I saw Nero Cinema did a video where he was bashing it, but, you know, the big YouTubers, the one that get flown out by Activision to play the games early and all that kind of stuff, obviously... They're not making any videos on this. Con Why would they? You know, <laughs> there, there's no reason for them to. They got to get that Activision paycheck. They got to get the that Activision host. You know what I'm saying? They got to get Activision to fly them out. They, they don't want to jeopardize any of that. And to be honest, like, I'm not really going to rip into people for not wanting to, you know, lose that partnership. Because I imagine for some people, if you, you know, grow up, grew up in, like, even just, like, a middle-class household, life-changing money is still life-changing money, right? But, you know, they're not going to report on any of this. They're not going to 
bash the game publicly to Activision, you know? And Charlie Intel, I don't really think they bashed it either. They just kind of reported it. We all know they have partnerships going on with Activision and stuff. Um, so they're not going to bash this as much. But, you know, it's just kind of crazy to me. And uh, it's just it's just wild. It's, it's just wild. I'm at a loss for words. I'm stuttering. I was actually genuinely at a loss for words because I didn't know what to say. I didn't script, you know, this whole video out because I feel like if you script a reaction video to something, it just kind of comes off as not genuine. You know, like, this is my raw, unbiased opinion, right? I'm not scripting, I'm just telling you guys my immediate reaction, my, you know, initial feelings towards this whole thing, and that's just that this thing is dog shit. I think, genuinely, obviously everyone knows this, but, you know, I don't really say it plainly. You know, I kind of just make a bunch of jokes in my videos, and we all kind of assume, but, you know, obviously, Activision is milking their player base dry. They are trying to squeeze out any amount of revenue they can, and what's funny is they actually introduced a ban wave recently, and, you know, you're a ban wave, you're like, oh, dude, hell yeah, ban wave, all these cheaters are getting banned. Here's the problem. The hackers aren't the one getting banned. It's the people using unlock tools in the game. Now, you might be wondering, why would they even do that? Why the unlock tools? Now, I get it. Like, if you use an unlock tool, that's not far away from being able to hack and cheat. So, I'm sure some people that were using unlock tools were also cheaters. But the problem is, Activision is specifically targeting the people that use unlock tools and not cheaters. Here's the thing. Ban them both. I don't care. But if you're going to target one or the other, target the people that are actually making the game unplayable, right? Because the hacking problem this year has just been insane. It's just been so badly. And um, this game is banning people for unlock tools instead of the people actually cheating to win the fucking game. It's crazy to me. Like, ban them both. I agree. People using unlock tools should be banned as well. But you should also ban the people that are genuinely making the game unplayable. But you know why they're not? They're just attacking the people that are affecting their wallet and aren't paying for the camos or grinding for the camos, you know, or buying the bundles, right? Like, they're just, they, they don't want to let people keep doing that because it's affecting their wallet. And Activision, as we know, they only care about their money. That has just been the truth from the start. It's funny because I remember years ago, for Modern Warfare 2019, there were supposed to be supply drops in the game, and then it leaked, and Twitter flipped the fuck out. And then Activision came out and said there will be no supply drops in the game, that was a leftover asset, and Activision was upset because they found out they were being called Microtrans Activision, which is actually a pretty funny name. But they were so offended by that that they were like, no, we're going to show the community we're not all about microtransactions. And then they have, you know, within five years just totally shown us that they are all about microtransactions and they do not care about the community. They don't care about their employees. We know that, obviously, because they were forcing women to do cube crawls and sexually assaulting them and even causing some of them to actually go on these long trips with them. And, you know, I believe there was even a woman who actually, you know, committed suicide because of the terrible treatment she was getting. So we already know they don't care about the people that work for them. Least of all, they don't care about the women that work for them, even though they try to champion themselves now as like, pro-women, pro-LGBTQ+, pro-minority communities. You know, they want to be the champion of all these minority communities. And, you know, they've been exposed for racist texts between, you know, employees and group chats of, you know, where they, you know, just talk terribly about the women that work with them. And they actually go out and do these terrible things to the women that work for them. And then we all know how they treat QA testers, especially this is something that even like Infinity Ward and Treyarch are really bad at because, you know, they have themselves have been exposed for treating their QA testers horribly. So that's not even just an Activision thing. It's all of these companies treat their employees pretty terribly. So it's unfortunate, man, but that's just the way it is. And because of thinking like that and, you know, just milking the community dry and treating everybody as just money that they can be taken, you know, money that can just be taken. Because of that, now we're at the point where we have $100 camos in Call of Duty. It's ridiculous. And it's sad. But that's the state that we're in, you know. You want my unfiltered, just raw, honest opinion, I think it's terrible, and I think that's just how Call of Duty is now, and it's disgusting, but anytime they do this, I'm still going to make a video about it, because you guys deserve to know when you're being, you know, tricked and manipulated and conned. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the $100 Call of Duty camo that is now in the game. If you actually want to see it, there's images on Twitter. Again, I didn't want to show any in this video. I didn't want to get in trouble. I don't know. I guess, theoretically, I could have shown the camo from COD World War II, but, you know. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Like I said, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. I'm on the road to 1,400 subscribers. Check out my last videos if you missed them. I'll see you guys in the live stream later tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again... 
Let me know what you thought about the video down in the comment section below. I always love reading your guys' uh, feedback and your thoughts down there. But again, for the last time, thank you guys so much. This is Austin, and uh, yeah, I'm out, guys. See you guys later. Peace.